Water, a basic necessity for life. Its management is key to its most efficient use. The government is working on making the most of this precious resource and wants the public included when it comes to managing it. Water specialist for the Ministry of Public Utilities, Sarah Jade Govaya, says the feedback from stakeholders is a key factor in the revision of the national water policy. The best guardians of the resource are the public. We, this is ours. And we believe that this policy is really meant to bring those players together as well as focus on not just water, but the, all the issues that surround water. So how we manage land, how we manage the environment and ensuring that the water, water is provided for both social, economic and environmental needs. Water Resources Agency representative Keith Mead says global warming and environmental factors are also critical in changing the philosophy of water management in Trinidad and Tobago. That is why we actually engaged in this revision at this particular time because certain things have changed. A number of issues are now on board which were not there before such as um, climate change which is now becoming more prominent. The weather is changing. Uh, we're talking about increases in temperature and therefore um, these particular changes will of course affect the quantity and the quality of the resource. Mr. Mead says the revised policy will focus on transparency and accountability for the management of water, bringing together all the players in the water sector. The public consultations will begin in the Southland and are meant to be a platform for feedback. So we need to have shared responsibility for the resource. We need to recognize that we all have a role to play in ensuring that we have an adequate supply of water for all users mm -hmm. throughout the country. And I think, um, yes, the service provider, that is WASA, has this responsibility. But in addition to that, the individual users also have a responsibility. Yeah. The first of the consultations will be held on Wednesday, April 12th in Princess Town from 5.30 p.m., with the second leg taking place on April 19th at the Arima Town Hall. Marita S. Bernard, C News.